With BS6 norms hitting the diesel engines hard, many premium hatchback manufacturers have completely ditched the diesel options and only offer petrol variants like the Volkswagen Polo, the Suzuki Baleno and the Honda Jazz. But fret not my friend, if you are in the market for a diesel hatchback that is premium and you need that fuel range, go for the Tata Altros. Tata Motors launched the Altros Premium Hatchback in the beginning of last year in the Indian market. The Tata Altros features the brand's all-new, agile, light, flexible, advanced architecture and going forward, this new platform will be used on all future small and mid-sized products from the same company. The Altros is the second product from Tata Motors to feature the company's Impact 2.0 design language. The first product featuring this was the Harrier SUV. With this new design language, the Altros looks sharper, aggressive and more premium when compared to its rivals in the segment. The Altros is one of the finest premium hatchbacks you can buy today with good looks and amazing features. Except for this one of course, the true king of the segment, the Hyundai i20. Even it has a powerful diesel engine up front, decently good looks, totally subjective and a truckload of features to appeal to the Indian consumer. This new i20 is now better than ever before. They have completely overhauled the looks, given it a new chassis and a new set of exciting engine options. The i20 has always been a dominant player in the sales charts, only coming second to the Suzuki Baleno. But who wants a tin can with no safety? So today let's find out if Indian Gully Rap can take on South Korean K-Pop. At the front, you get a sleek set of smoked headlights with projectors for low beam and reflectors for high beam. You do not get an LED strip, but you do get DRLs with the projectors right here. There is a little bit of black touches everywhere for a sporty touch and to finish it all up, there is a strip of chrome across the width of the front of the car to give it a classier look. Moving on to the side profile, you can see the window line is upswept and there are more black touches everywhere to give it a sporty look. Cool thing about the Altras is that the doors open up 90 degrees. The rear door in the C line has the door on the uh, window pane so that it creates a nice flush look on the side profile too. The sleekness continues at the rear of the Altros with these hovering tail lights that look really nice and everything is piano black finished just like the car except the Altros logo and the Tata logo. Step inside the Altros and you're welcome with ample amounts of space everywhere and an all new premiumness that you do not receive in any of the Altros siblings. Wherever you touch is good quality leathers and good quality plastics. Apart from the steering wheel which I am a little uh, let down by because the plastics do not match the other parts of the interior. However, taking center screen is this 7 inch Harman navigation system and it's really really good. There's quite a lot of information on display for the price of the car. However, there is also another thing that I really do not like of this car and it's this. Economy drive mode activated. Uh, well, it's kind of annoying. However, like not like every other woman, you can actually shut her up. One place where the Altros falls short is in the instrument cluster side of things. We know you get a larger digital screen in the higher end variants, but it's just not as good as what you find in the i20. The screen is quite smooth, very informative and has great graphics too but compared to the i20's gigantic digital instrument cluster, the Altros's one gives you some inferiority complex. So these are the looks of the i20 and I know when I said good looks it was totally subjective. This design has caused a lot of controversy in the market and well 
in for me it looks pretty good i mean i don't have any sort of problem with this design but let's start off with some of the characteristics that this design has well as you can see it has these sharp looking headlights and just like the altros it does not have any sort of led headlight setup uh, you do get led drls though but since this is not the top end uh, you do not get that in this car apart from that it looks very aggressive and pointy up front you get this massive gaping grille just like an audi but you still have a lot of fakery going on in the front these vents are kind of fake i mean they are fake not kind of but at least it looks the part come down to the side profile and it looks compact it looks sharp you have these black side skirts with the i20 badging on the side to give it that sporty look coming around to the back end this is where stuff gets a little bit dodgy for me i mean the back end is where the controversy has been stirred up from quite a lot these headlights uh, they look pretty good to me but i don't know about other people it has this continuous flowing design again a little bit more of fakery with this diffuser like it's going to be of any use to a small little hatchback but still i do not think that this design is as bad as people say looks pretty good to me now this is where the i20 should outshine the altros but weirdly everyone else is picking up the pace but still the i20 has a lot of features which the altros doesn't and let's start off with some of the features well first of all let's talk about the interior design it has these horizontal streaks running all across the dashboard you have these nice speaker designs as well since this is not the top end variant you do not get the seven speaker bose surround system the steering wheel well it is exactly like the one you find in the creta so it has that uh, nice look to it with these aluminum brushed uh, finished pieces all around uh, do i like the look of it well i like more simple looking designs all of this is subjective by the way so if you like it go for it you get two massive screens in front of you and unlike the altros you get a completely digital instrument cluster in front of you which looks absolutely amazing you have an anti clockwise uh, tachometer which a lot of people don't like just like the bmws but i have gotten totally accustomed to it you have a central screen as well in the instrument cluster which shows a lot of information like your trip data fuel range tpms monitor and everything like that you get a massive input in the system in the middle which has a load of features like android auto apple carplay inbuilt navigation fm am radio and a lot of other gimmicks here and there all in all this interior is not as spacious as the altros it feels tight and compact but in terms of tech i think so this is a step above the altros So powering the Tata Altros diesel is a 1.5 liter turbo diesel engine that pushes around 90 bhp and 200 newton meters of torque. It does duty in the Nexon as well and this is the first time me driving it and first impressions is initial pickup is pretty non-existent. However, in the mid range you do get quite a surge and uh, it tapers out at around 4400 rpm. You do feel quite a lot of turbo lag in this diesel. And uh, when you put it in city mode, it's quite a decent surge of power. However, when you put it in eco mode, it's quite sluggish. Uh disregard that and this car is actually really comfortable to drive in the city super maneuverable visibility is all over the place everywhere 360 degrees no problem however if you're going to push the car let me tell you this it can handle this alpha platform is very well balanced this chassis is very surprising for uh, a car like this to perform this way and uh, Apart from that gearbox is a standard 5 speed gearbox which doesn't feel very slick however it's a city car so you're not going to be doing much in it too so if you are in the market for a premium hatchback that needs to be diesel and have that fuel range this is the car for you So how does this thing work if you like having a good time in your car on Sunday mornings how is it as a enthusiast car 
Well, I have to say Hyundai has improved the driving dynamics of the i20 dramatically over the years. I mean, first of all, this car drives like a proper hot hatch, even though it does not have any hot hatch attributes like a fast engine or a loud exhaust. This thing, in terms of its driving dynamics, it corners very nicely and the steering is quite lively. Although I have to say since this is not any of the sporty variants, the suspension is quite soft so there is a lot of body roll through the corners. But apart from that, it's a very nice car to drive if you are going to do some enthusiastic drivings in the canyons. Uh, there are a few things that are not really good about this car. I mean, I would first of all like a more punchier diesel engine. They say it has 214 Nm of torque but I really don't feel it. I mean, there is no pickup in the sense of what a Volkswagen diesel car gives you. I mean, after 2000 RPM, I'm waiting for that kick of diesel torque, but it's not there. It's never there for some reason. It's a very linear power curve for some reason. Uh, another thing that annoys me a little bit, not too much, is this gear shifter over here. It has this little rubbery feeling to it when you put the gears uh, in their place. It is a little satisfying in some sort of way, but it's not how a hatchback's gearbox should feel in my opinion. The matter of fact is, both of these cars are great in their own respect. But the real problem arises when you start talking about price. The Hyundai commands a massive unprecedented premium over the Altros of almost 2 lakhs on every comparable model. Where you get the base diesel Altros for 7 lakh rupees, you get the base diesel i20 for 9 lakh rupees. Which one would we have? The i20 does have that edge in technology and giving you a well-sorted interior, but is it worth 2 lakhs extra over the Altros? I don't think so. The Altros displays great value for money, but if you want those extra features and a properly equipped premium hatchback that drives well, looks great and has a very very nice interior, the i20 is the way to go. But if all of those factors do not concern you as much as a well-riding hatchback, a very spacious one and loads of practical features, the Altros is the way to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Bhavneet and Soham Saraf. We hope you liked this video and if you did, subscribe to our channel. Check out our Instagram where we post a lot of cool car and bike related content every single day. So do give us a follow on Instagram, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one.